Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create this type of chart which is linked to an individual and when you change the individual, the chart automatically colors up. So if I pick a person that's got quite a high score, you can see how it's the green parts moving right round and then somebody with a fairly low score and I think it's the other way around, so it's just showing you that. So there's a few things going on here. I've got obviously a data validation list sitting there, which is listing these people. And then I've got the actual data coming through there through a lookup. In this case, it's an X lookup, but you could use V lookup or whichever one you want. And then this is a donut chart that's looking at that information there. The word an is linked to whatever's in this cell. That's why the title keeps changing. And you can see that when I do change this title again, it's just gonna change over. In the chart itself so what I want to do is just delete this chart and recreate this from scratch so I'll just copy the, the titles down below so I'll just drag them down use my control key to copy that'll copy those color this cell a different color to that one let's go for a light green color and put a border on it just like keep it nice and neat in fact border that off as well now in here I need data validation, a data validation list that's going to pick up these people. So let's go do that first. Data tab, validation, and it's the list option that I want. So it's got any value at the moment, selecting list. And then you can type a list with a comma or you can select a list or you can use a named range. Well, I haven't named this list, so I'll just select it. That's the list. Now, if that was a formatted table, which it's not, this list would just grow as if I added extra people. So if you want the list to be dynamic, I've done a video on that. You'll need to just format it as a table. But for now, this will do. Click OK. Not bothering with the input message or the error alert on this example. Just click OK. And that should give you your list of people. So now I need to do a lookup. Um, I will do X lookup. And I've called this table Steve. This is called Steve, so I can refer to that. So if I go equals X lookup, that's my tab key so it puts it in for me. So the lookup value is going to be this cell and comma, the lookup array is going to be this list, comma, the return array is going to be these two, comma, what to do if it's not found, not bothered, comma, and then I want an exact match which is zero. And then if I close the bracket, click the tick, that drops that in. It's not formatted to percent, so I'll just go and do that. Home, percent. Now it's formatted to percent. So this is now the same as the one above, except obviously it's got a different person. Now to create a chart on this bit, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to first off get myself a donut chart which sits inside the pie chart icon down the bottom there donut and make that a little bit smaller so the first thing I want to do is link the chart title to this cell so this is how you do that you just click onto the formula bar type equals and then click on the cell that you want it to link to which is that one and then that's going to say John and if I change the person it just quickly changes over and, and this the figures are re reacting now what I want is like a little scale and a second axis really. So I'm going to go up to, um, click onto the chart first off, go up to chart design, select data. Now you could type a list and select the list on here, but then I don't want to do that. I want to just add a series and manually type 10 items. So if I just type 10, 10 times, separate it with a comma, Every time I type a 10, that's going to be a category, if you like, on the chart. So I'm just banging them in. I don't know how many I've done already. Probably not 10. Let's just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, that was a fluke. Click OK to that. And then you can see what's happened there. This, this second donut has appeared. I'll come back into this in a second. On the second donut, first of all... I want it all to be one color so this is not normally on the screen what I did was I did control and number one to get into 
format data series and then I've clicked on the paint pot and what I want is a solid fill but I don't want it too bright so if I go for a sort of greyish colour like so and then you can use this transparency to fade it out even more but there's there's it faded that's okay now on the line the border it's got a solid line and I want a a line that's going to be let's have a look at black see what that looks like no 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 not that I could go for a grey line again but different colour grey that's a little bit better so that's okay now obviously I want this this blue line if I click on this blue line that's um, the complete bit and this is what's remaining so if I click on what's remaining if I can get click onto it I want that to be let's say a different color um, solid color but um, I've got it isolated I don't think I have click on that bit yeah I've got it I think I've got it isolated I'll just pick a color this is remaining so I'll pick red yeah that's the right and I'll pick green for that one this little one and click on it green so green that green so that's how I want that to be and I might just fade this red one out a little bit by using this transparency see what that looks like like so so now I've got that how I want it not I need to add the um, the data label so if I just click click off that for a second then click onto this center colored area and then just add data labels so that's giving me the the percentage and if I go into data labels and just move across a little bit on this arrow you can go into more options and then this flicks over because what you can also have if I go into label options which is this little graph at the end there you've got category name so I can have the actual words that these words there if that's too cluttered obviously don't do that I don't need this at the bottom now because I'll come off that make that disappear and then what I now need to do is make these sit on top of each other let me just check this works first if I select a different person from this list click on that first drop it down pick Dave Dave everything moves 10% remaining so I'm just going to move these labels out a little bit like so so they're pointing in like that and then just check that again so let's see if I'm happy with how it's sitting and again okay so now I need to go and put these on top of each other so you can see how it works now let's go back up to chart design and chart type now what I need here is a secondary axis for that one like so okay so they're sitting on top of each other and you can see how that now works if I change somebody I'll pick somebody that's got a high score um, I think Peter might have no it's obviously John yeah who's got the highest score Dave let's go get Dave Dave and it's working it's working quite well that's how I want it to do if you're not happy with the colors obviously before you do the secondary axes play around with the colors so you can you see how it goes but that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create a little dial chart using data validation and VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP should I say. Hopefully this was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.